Welcome to Section 4. In the previous section, we took a look at the data, how the data is created, and how it can be altered and removed. In this section, Now, in this video, we will start off with understanding why Codebook is so important. We will also be looking at what goes into the Codebook, as well as the use of metadata and variables in creating the Codebook. The Codebook is an important tool for the analysis of data. It provides the basic summary of data that is to be analyzed. It provides data on the variables which make up the data set as well as the database that was used to generate the data set. It also provides details on the sources that are used to create the data set. Like all documentation, it can also be a useful reference for understanding the data. When going back, analyze the data at a later date. There are a number of good examples available online to view. I've just listed a couple here. The University of California Biostatistics Division have published this sample codebook. It may be a sample, but it does give a very good example of what to expect. It is headed up as a study of breast cancer, breast cancer in elderly women. From the metadata, I can see that the allowable values for data of birth range from January 1st, 1800 to December 31st, 1926. From the same code book, we have a list of abbreviations of code used within the data along with their definitions. The measures used to collect the data must be detailed, and if the data was collected as part of a questionnaire, the survey questions must also be included. Any coding used within the data set must also be described. Details of how missing data is to be handled must also be described. The names of the variables used along with the associated data types and the range of values is also useful information. The metadata around the data set can be just as important as the data itself. This should include the data collection processes, such as a summary description of what the data set is actually about, the number of cases within the data set and percentage of the population, any geographic information on the list of towns or regions covered, details of any data cleansing that was carried out on the data set, the data set, the date it was completed, and who performed the cleansing. This should also include tools, techniques, and any assumptions made. The location of where the data set is stored, such as file names and locations, potentially any username and password details, if it is stored in a database. In this video, we have looked at what a codebook is and why it is important, along with what makes up the codebook.